I only have one message to give you. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care what you call me. I do not care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. Prepare to watch the sunset and know that we have prepared our children for the dawn. This is the symbology of the initiates of the mystery religion of Babylon that are destroying this country. Which tells us that William Jefferson Clinton is a highly degreed adept because he speaks the language. He speaks the language. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, Lucifer is the great deceiver and Lucifer is their god. Lucifer is their god. They believe in the Luciferian philosophy. It is a metaphor. The man was held prisoner in the Garden of Eden by an unjust, vindictive, and terrible god. The god of darkness, the god of the Bible, the god of the Christians, Jehovah, Adonai, Yahweh. And that man was set free from this prison by Lucifer through his agent Satan and many say the two are exactly the same and I tend to believe that by the gift of intellect whereby man discounted God's warning that if ye eat of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil ye shall surely die Satan said, no, God is lying to you. He's denying you your own divinity, your own destiny. For if you should eat of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, ye shall become as gods. They have since interpreted it to mean they shall become God. And they have twisted everything and turned it all around upside down and backwards. Where dark is now light and light is now dark. The God of the Bible is now an evil, dark, unjust, vindictive God. And Lucifer is the savior of the world. Lucifer, whom they say in all of their writings is the bright and morning star. They say that that's what the Bible says. And ladies and gentlemen, if you understand the esoteric language, and remember I've told you this before on many occasions, that the Bible is written in two languages, one exoteric and one esoteric. Every priest knows this. Every doctor of theology knows this, but they will never tell it to you because that is forbidden. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Lucifer is Prometheus, the lightning bolt that hit the tree and brought the gift of fire to man. Fire being the symbol for the intellect, the ability to think. With the use of the fire, by the philosophers of fire, man himself will become God. Son of the morning? What is the sun of the morning? What is the morning? The morning is the dawn, the rising of the sun, spelled S-U-N. But the S-U-N, rising in the morning, at the dawn, the golden dawn, is also the sun, S-O-N, the son of Osiris, Horus. The sun, spelled S-U-N, is the bright and morning star. And Osiris is the dawn, the sun, the light, Lucifer. Many people make the mistake that they understand or know what they're talking about when they try to pick up on what they've heard about the symbology of the mysteries. And I'm here to tell you, unless you've studied it for 20 years like I have, you haven't got a chance of knowing what you're talking about. So be very careful. Be very, very careful. Now, this is all twisted, of course. And you could get a better idea of exactly what they're talking about 
If you read the interview conducted by Richard Noon in the book called Five Five Two Thousand, Five Five Two Thousand is the name of the book by Richard Noon, N O O N E, in which he conducts an interview with one of the highest adepts of the mystery religion of Babylon. His name is Tom Valentine. And in this interview, he explains much of it and ends by telling you that Jesus Christ is out. He's had his turn and he failed. Now it is his brother Lucifer's turn. And Lucifer will mount the throne of the world. How many of you followed Tom Valentine for so many years not understanding who and what he really is? I hope you wake up, ladies and gentlemen. It is still not too late. But if you remain in that deep slumber for which you are famous, <laughs> it will not only be too late, it will be all over. Is that what you want? I don't think so. For some reason, I just don't think that's what you want. If you do want it, I am sure, I am certain in my heart that you have been deceived. <laughs> 